Number seven, conclusion. As we conclude our course through the Code of Ethic and how it shapes the real estate profession, we should find ourselves at the intersection of principles and practice, right? That's always the hard intersection to be standing at. Making sure you adhere to the principles while you're actually practicing. Remember that the Code of Ethics is a clear guideline and ethical touch points that emerges as a compass pointing us in the right direction. And often it will simplify complex real estate situations if you actually adhere to the Code of Ethics. The cool thing is that the Code of Ethics is not a rigid rule book, but it's a dynamic framework that invites you guys as real estate professional to embody the highest standards of professionalism. Its principles outlined on these pages serve as a shining light to navigate this industry. And as stewards of ethical conduct, remember the commitment to ethical excellence and allow the code of ethics to not only guide us, and our practices, but inspire a culture of integrity, accountability, and collective commitment to the real estate profession. Once again, I'm Raymond Modulin. I am the director of Real University. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at raymond at realuniversity.com. See you later.